What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of My Summer Car. As always, if you guys are enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. Now that we've come to the end of week one, I gotta be honest with you guys, I'm starting to feel the effects of this game once again. I'm not, like, going crazy just yet. That'll probably happen later, but it's definitely taken a few years off my life already. So, end goal for today's episode... Honestly, we don't really have one. I'd like to just continue working on the Satsuma as much as possible. It would be fantastic if we could get, you know, everything maybe except for the engine installed. But that's obviously a very, very tall order. Before we can get to that, we do have a few smaller sort of time-sensitive tasks that we need to tend to. Uh, one of which being our stats, of course. Very important that we don't, you know, die. Just randomly because we didn't pee or something stupid like that we'll turn on the shower hop in here actually we could probably just yeah we can pee in the shower two birds one stone we can just take care of our stress in the morning which reminds me we got to unplug the phone before we head to bed dude the last thing we need is for the drunk dude from the pub to give us a ring at like 2 a.m and completely ruin uh, the plans for the rest of the day. Let's go ahead and take care of our stress now that we're outside. While we're doing that, I'm gonna have a sip of water. Have a sip of water yourself. Water's water's great for you and stuff. Builds character. I really wanted to take the Joe Bro down to the dock, but I think we might have actually left it at the woodshed. So we'll just hop in the in the tractor here, and we'll take this down to the dock instead. Should be fine. Welcome back to Love Island. Our next uh, time-sensitive task is just getting just getting the little fishing basket, fishing cage, fishing pot. Is it just fish trap? It is, isn't it? Yeah, we got to get this thing in the water asapalapagus. Grandmama has been expecting a fish from us, and we have not been able to deliver said fish. So this guy, if I remember right, it's... It's better, or I guess faster, at catching fish if you put it offshore at the island. Not, like, over by our house. So, I'm just going to leave this thing right over here. We still need to be able to, like, crouch and get to the thing. So, we'll leave it maybe right there. If you go a little bit deeper in the water, you can't crouch anymore. So, now... Oh, God, it's doing the thing again. We're, like, stuck on nothing. There we go. Okay. So, we're going to head inside. Should we get a drink first? Let's get a drink really quick. And then we'll head inside. What else did we need from here? It was the fish trap and the bucket. That's right. All the things, you guys. All the things are slowly coming back to me as we, uh, as we play through this game again. So, right in here. There she is. The old bucket. So, this, for those of you that don't know is the thing that we need in order to make that sugar wine. We got the stuff to make the sugar wine, like the ingredients and things to make the sugar wine in the previous episode, but this is really what we need to get that whole thing going. So we'll just drop that on in there. Do we really need to do anything else here? I don't think so. I mean, we're kind of killing time, but honestly, it'd be best if we could get our brew going first so we can kill some more time, because that thing will take two and a half hours? to fully brew. We've got a little uh, lantern in here. We can sleep here. Coffee kettle, coffee cup, of course. Fireworks bag. We'll just leave those here for a rainy day. And then the camera. If we use the camera at the pig man's house, we'll be able to see the ghost of his dad, whom he murdered over a game of cards. And he would probably murder anyone. Alrighty, home sweet home, you guys. Let's go ahead and get this brew going. We're going to idle the tractor down so we don't waste any more fuel. And we'll hop on out of here. I forgot the parking brake, didn't I? See, not only do I forget to put the parking brake down, but I also forget to put the parking brake back up. It's just a constant struggle. And it keeps doing the... Oh, dude. This is it, you guys. This is it. This is where the insanity comes in. It keeps doing the thing where I'm, like, stuck on nothing. And, oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. 
It's happening again. Okay, let's place this somewhere where the groceries aren't going to get to it. And I forgot to plug the phone back in. Unbelievable. Because as these things pop out, they could, you know, accidentally go into the bucket. And obviously we don't want that. So let's just open everything up all at the same time. And see? See the scatter? That could have been bad. If we would have put the bucket right here, it would have already had the yeast in it. A few moments later. Okay, I had to get organized just for my own sanity. Are you kidding me, dude? Right as I'm about to start my brewski, I would like to... Okay. Yeah, firewood. We can do that. That's honestly, that's not a big deal. That's going to be right over here. Sweet. Okay, well, there's another job for us to do later on. That'll come in handy when we need to kill some time. So, Chuger is going in there. There's two. I believe it's all six. There we go. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, I remember this. You have to you have to drop the sugar in, then click again. Otherwise, you can't pick up another sugar. See, now I can, now that I've clicked. Weird. Do we want to put the yeast in at the end, or do we want to put it in with the sugar right now? I feel like this is like the active ingredient, right? That's what really starts the whole fermenting process. So let's let's take the bucket in the shower and we'll just go ahead and fill this thing on up. That should that should be the right thing to do. I don't know. Maybe this will be a, a bad batch and we'll sort of learn our lesson after this, but we'll bring the yeast in. We're not gonna we're not gonna put it in yet. And then we'll also need the lid. I guess the, the lid is what truly starts the fermenting process because without it, all the fumes would just go to the atmosphere. Any minute now, any minute now, it's gonna reach max capacity, there it is. All right, how did I, how did I get this? Did I just grab that through the wall? I must have, dude, that is, I've never had that happen before. Never had that happen, all right. We gotta add the yeast. Now that we've done that, I think all we have to do is just Put the lid on, right? And the process will commence. There we go. Listen for the bubbles. Nothing. Uh-oh. Should we t should we take the lid off? And maybe and maybe put it back on? We gotta be careful not to spill the bucket either. I hope I did this right. I don't I don't hear any bubbles, you guys. Does it does it take a minute? I'm actually really nervous. I hope I didn't just screw that up because now we're just playing the waiting game. Two and a half hours, mind you. It's going to take for that to fully brew. I'll give it a minute. I'll go put this back in the garage, I guess. And then we'll see. Maybe if we come back in, it'll start bubbling and stuff. I think I just heard one. I think I just heard one. We're good. We're good. Listen, listen close. Did you hear it? There it is. There it is, you guys. All right, we've got our first Keel U brew going. Now, this is gonna sort of feel like we're in a frat or we're just joining a frat, but we've basically just gotta chug all these juice containers now until each one of them is completely empty. Okay. Our hazing is now complete, dude, but our bladder is about to explode. I just got to take this outside. I couldn't be bothered to open the bathroom door. It uh, wasn't going to happen in time. Now that we have all of our time-sensitive tasks out of the way, we've got our keel you brewing. We've got our fish trap, hopefully trapping fish. We'll have to check on that a little while later on. But now we can get started on the Satsuma once again. So I would really like to get this thing pulled into the garage. You can see our alignment on this side is pretty straight, but over here, it's a little wonky. So let's try to grab a wrench and we'll just adjust that tie rod real quick. Hopefully this is pretty straightforward. I think the wrench is very, very large. So let's pop this on the ground, open her on up. I think it's gonna be a 14. We'll see. It is, dude, it sure is a 14. What do you know? All right, now we just got to scroll wheel it up until this thing's nice and straight. We can push it on in the garage. I don't remember the exact amount of, like, scroll wheel rotations that are needed to get the alignment, you know, real proper, real precise. But hopefully that'll get us by for now. What we're going to need next... Well, do we really need a steering wheel? 
Because we would, we would have to sit in the vehicle to steer, and it's not like the steering wheel can, like, keep the wheels turned, if that makes any sense whatsoever. So we're just going to get our hands out like this and try to push it on in when it gets close to probably about there. Let's run around to the side, and we'll just try to try to slide it on over. See if that is straight-ish. It's not bad. It's not bad. I actually think this side needs to go in just a scooch now. There we go. Okay. If we push it forward, it should be fine. There's just the only reason I'm doing this. There's one bolt. Oh, it is not really going straight now. There's one bolt underneath the, um, the vehicle that we'll have to get just installing the handbrake. Just one tiny little bolt. There we go. Got that pushed over. You now I've got to try to get behind the vehicle once again without, you know, completely pushing it off course. Okay, it's getting a little sketchy. Getting a little sketchy. No, 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 no. Don't go any further forward. Otherwise, you're going in the inspection pit. Okay, I think we're good now. We've just got to scoot it forward a tiny bit further. That way we can actually walk down the inspection pit. We came very, very close to putting the car in the pit, but should be good. All right, now that we've got that done, let's grab our ratchet set and we can start working on the old Satsuma yet again. Where's our handbrake even at, dude? Oh, here it is. All right, spotted you. So there's four bolts on the top of this and then there's just the one, as I mentioned, underneath. And again, that's the real reason that we needed it in the garage so we could use the inspection pit. Um, why you know work? Why you know do the thing? Why you know install? Please? There we go. This is gonna be an eight. This is an eight if I've ever seen one. It sure is, dude. Your boy's got it. Your boy's got it. Okay, these are easy though. It's the bottom one that I'm unsure of. But let's go with... Let's just start with the smallest one and we'll just sort of go up from there. We'll probably need this again, so we'll bring it down into the pit, too. So there's the four we just put in. Where's the other one? Oh, right there. Okay. So that's... Wait a minute. Are you kidding me? First try? Actually, first try. Okay. I'll take it, dude. That's fantastic. Now that we have that installed, we should be able to just rip the e-brake. That way, we won't accidentally bump it, you know, while we're doing other things to it. So, where do we want to go from here? Now that we've got the handbrake installed... We can kind of just do whatever. Everything except for the engine stuff, honestly. So, steering wheel, maybe not the worst idea. What about the dash? Or wait, we have wiring. Eventually, we're going to have to do the wiring, and that is going to suck if we have, like, everything installed already. The fuel tank's pretty important, usually. That's going to go in right there. Now, what size are you guys? Little bit larger than the smallest one in the ratchet set. We've worked our way all the way up to a 9. Still nothing. Now a 10. Still nothing. What about an 11? Surely it is an 11. Okay, perfect. Quite a few of these around here, but shouldn't take us too terribly long. Now let's grab the tank's filler neck right here. Or the game calls it the fuel tank pipe. That works too, I guess. That's going to go right there. I don't remember if there are any bolts involved in this. Let's try to peek through here, and we'll see what we see. Well, I don't see much of anything right now, if I'm being honest. Seems like it just pops in there. We don't actually have to tighten any bolts or anything with that. There is, though, this fuel line down here. Got to get a spanner out just to tighten that one, and we are good to go. We could probably install the gear shifter or the gear stick, right? Even though we don't actually have the transmission installed or anything. Try to put that right there. Perfect. We've got four bolts around that, but I, again, don't know the size of them. So we're just going to grab this. That's the one thing that I really miss about the modded series. Well, I miss a lot of things. Oh, there's three bolts also. I miss a lot of things about the modded Let's Play. But the, the bolt size thing was next level. Let's go for the dashboard next. When it comes time to do the wiring, we can just clip our face through the dashboard. It shouldn't be a huge deal. And once again, we don't know the size of these bolts or nuts, dude. My money's on a 10, you guys. It's always a 10. Look at that. And then in the glove box as well, should just be two nuts, if I remember correctly, on the dashboard. I'm not going to 
probably install the dashboard like gauges and meters and things for the wiring reason. What else could we install before we move on to like body panels and stuff? We need something else in the engine bay maybe. Oh, here we go. Brake master cylinder. We'll grab that. I think that's going to go right over here on the firewall. There we go. Um, what size are those, you think? We know it's not a 10. My money's on an 8, maybe. We'll see. It really sucks, too, because you can't really... Oh, there it is. Nice. You can't really even tell visually what size they are. Like, the 14s don't really appear to be any larger than, say, a 5. Let's grab the clutch master cylinder next, since it's right next to the brake master cylinder. It's gonna go right there. Nicely done. Same size nuts or bolts, maybe? Just the one, and then there's probably another one above it. There we be. How about the brake lines next? Now that we have the brake master cylinder installed, this should just go along the back side of the firewall, or I guess the front of the firewall. There we go. And now those, since they're brake lines, we can't use the ratchet for those. We're, uh, we're unfortunately going to have to mount those up with the spanner set. Two very boring minutes later. I'm not kidding you guys. I think I've been through the entire spanner set twice, maybe even three times now, and I am still not having any luck. Oh, there it is. There it is. About dang time. Maybe I just wasn't looking at the right nuts. Kind of sounds weird, but nope. I was definitely looking at the right nuts. All right, now on to the clutch line, or clutch lining, whatever you want to call it. That's going to go right there. Should still be a seven. Oh, well, we can't secure that one yet, so we'll have to remember that that one's undone still when we actually get the engine in. We can get that one into the clutch master, though. Perfect. All right. Um, now I think we actually need to take care of our stats once again. So we're going to come inside really quick. Our hunger has not gone up, like, whatsoever all day, which is great. I mean, I'm certainly not complaining. I'm just a little concerned. I'm not sure why that would be happening. This thing's still gurgling, so that's fantastic. Maybe. Ooh, yeah, actually, we're going to run out of time. Let's hop in the Kekmet yet again. We're going to head down to the dock, make our way over to the island. We're going to have a look-see at our little fish trap. I do find it a little fishy, pun intended, that we don't actually have to, like, bait the fish trap or anything. It just sort of collects fish over time. But let's see if we have any fish chilling in our little trap down here. We have one. We have one fish. We've waited, I don't know, probably over 20 minutes, I would think, and we've caught one fish. That is... Fantastic. Well, we have one fish to bring to Grandma. Eventually. She's not going to accept a fish today. I don't even think she's still outside, tell you the truth. But we'll get this thing resituated again. Get it dropped back into the lake. And um, we'll come back for it another time. I guess we can just take Grandma's fish for the time being since we, you know, can't deliver it to her today. And we'll huck it in the fridge. Maybe it'll stay good until we actually can get around to delivering it to her. But that'll just chill right there for a while. All right, uh, let's take a quick peek at our stats, see what we actually need to address, if anything. I think, honestly, we're not looking too bad right now. So let's get right back to work on the Satsuma. The sun is going down very, very quickly. So we really don't have all that much time left in the day. I really like to keep the episodes sort of contained to just one day. When you're installing the boot lid, don't you just sort of have to clip your whole face through it so you can see the bolts? Yeah, there we go. So we've got two over here on this hinge and two on the other side. The hood will probably go on last just because, you know, we're still going to have to drop the engine in. doesn't really make sense to do that now. So let's move on to the fenders. Dude, what size are all these things? It's honestly driving me nuts. Okay, I went through the entire ratchet set two times, didn't have any luck, so it must just be one that maybe we can't use the ratchet for? I'm thinking it's still a six, maybe. Okay, not a six, we'll try another one. Maybe a seven. Okay, yeah, it didn't look like a seven to me anyways. Let's go with an eight. Yeah, that's also not working. 
could be a nine. I need to just pull up the wiki because they have a nice chart, a nice diagram of all of the different bolt sizes for everything you could ever bolt up. I just need to have that open at all times because right now I'm I'm losing it. I'm I'm actually losing it. It was a five the entire time. Okay, I'm gonna screw that in. That's fine. I'm gonna screw that in with the spanner. Now we're gonna grab the five socket, which I did try already, and it does work. It does work, dude. I just wasn't really over the bolt perfectly, I guess. Wait, when I was on the bolt there, it wasn't even... I'm over it. I'm over it. On to the next fender. Hold that thought. We have a phone call. And it's probably a solicitor, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Great. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, yeah, I just want to get this fender installed and maybe maybe we put on the doors as well but like i said i'll probably be leaving the hood off and then we'll just be done for the day we'll try the passenger side door first look for the little check mark there we be and then these we should be able to open or not it just wanted to close immediately or we can just clip our face through here and we'll figure out what size they are that way well they're not the one that we're using right now go figure I'm feeling a 10. You guys, I'm feeling a 10. It isn't, it, it, oh, it is a 10. It is a 10. I'm just not really on the bolt still. There we go. Okay. Dude, this is so, this is so difficult. There has to be an easier way. Can we not just open? We can't just open the door. Lesson learned. I will do this. I will do this. I will clip my face through the fender and I will do this. Alrighty, there we go. Got all four of the bolts installed. Now we can move on to the driver's side door. Dude, the doors are honestly very, very challenging. Very difficult. First of all, it's hard to find the bolts in the first place. And then the fact that you can't even open the door to get easier access. Just, that's a real bummer, man. That is a real, real bummer. There we are. Last bolt. Now we've got two working doors. Still need to put the rest of the dash in. Well, we still need to do a lot of things, but I feel like we made a lot of great progress today. So with that being said, I do think that's where we're going to wind things down at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.